the real question is, will we be able to pump? Here goes nothing. Good morning, Modern Setters. And what a beautiful morning it is. We got probably around seven inches of snow yesterday. This morning, it's raining. Not a good combination. We're gonna have a good, wet, slippery roads. I plowed at one point yesterday. I don't know, I got probably about two inches on the ground right now and I don't wanna plow that off. I want the rain and ice have something to stick to. So then later today or tomorrow, I can plow that and get rid of the ice and snow. I got a new toy in the mail and I'm excited to share it with you. I wanted to thank Jesse and Alyssa for Pure Living for Life for telling me about this awesome pump. Thank you guys. If you guys don't know who they are, they're building a timber framed house in northern Idaho. They have some really cool videos out lately of the whole build process. I'll put a link to that video right here. It's about 46 minutes long, so it's not a video, it's more of a movie. Let me share with you what we got. Yep, that's how much snow we've gotten in the past few days. Every winter I tell myself I'm gonna have the Kubota tractor winterized and ready to go. I'll have the mower deck off of it and I'll have my snow plow on it. And I told myself this year I'm gonna make sure I get it done. Nope, it sits under the outdoor kitchen with a mower deck still on it and the plow's 100 feet that way. Today we're gonna take care of getting the Kubota ready for winter since winter's here. But I want to share with you a super duper transfer pump. No more having to worry about the new nozzles on the gas cans that spill, that are slow, or a pain in the butt. Some neat inventor out there came, with, came up with this idea of a pump. I know for me, for my Kubota, where it's located, every time I pour diesel fuel, I spill it and make a huge mess, and then I smell like diesel fuel. Gina don't like that, and I know I don't like that either. So let me share this with you. It's a little transfer pump. It'll do, I think, five or six quarts a minute. Takes two double D batteries. It'll fit the depth of a five gallon pail. The hose isn't very long, I don't know two feet. So we got our two D batteries. I got my pump on Amazon when I ordered my pump. I should have got two batteries, but I didn't. Does it tell me what direction I want my batteries? It does. Ooh, that's a neat little switch. Can hear it. It's a little fan. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in on it and focus. It's a fan, like a fan blade in there. It feels pretty strong for a little pump. Let's go get the tractor and find out.
I'd much rather leave my tractor on, but if I leave it running, I can't talk to you. So we're gonna take off our mower deck. There's two arms in the rear. We need to pull the pins. And that drops to this side. I go to the other side, pull the other pin. Oh, that one looks like it's been twisted around. Let's go get a pry bar and move it. Cause I ain't pulling that the way it is. go. The front has another pin right here. Pull that. Drops the arm down. And then we can remove the part that goes on the tractor. The part that goes on the mower. We can take that off now. I keep everything together so we don't lose it. Don't know how good you can see it, but back there is a quick disconnect for our PTO shaft. See if I can balance the camera. There we go. That's one thing I wish Kubota did. I wish Kubota made it so you could drive up over the deck to get it on and off instead. You gotta manhandle it. Toughen up, be a real man and drag it out. Some days you just don't feel like being a real man. Or some days I don't. Making me hot. Once we get the mower deck taken care of and put away, we'll try out the new fuel pump. Then we can put our plow on. I don't expect the pump to fit to the bottom because I have, it's not a gas can, it's like a six or seven gallon plastic jug that works a lot better. You can hold more fuel. You don't get one of them terrible spouts. The real question is, will we be able to pump from the ground ooh, to the fuel tank? We will. Here goes nothing. Oh, nice. I like that. It's quiet. The diesel fuel is thick right now because it's been pretty darn cold around here. So it's pumping up and over cold diesel fuel. It pumps a little bit faster if I pick it up. 
and it doesn't have such a big steep pump. It's working good though, I'm impressed with it. Not bad at all. I didn't time it with a stopwatch, but I was looking at the timer on my video camera as I was recording, and it took about a minute and a half to pump between two and a half and three gallons. I don't have a drop of fuel on the tractor, or on the ground, or on me. That's even better. We got Christmas parties to go to today, and I don't even smell like diesel fuel. <laughs> this is awesome. Not only is this good for diesel fuel, you can use it for gas. You could use it to fuel up your weed whacker and your chainsaw. You wouldn't have to worry about spilling or making a mess. If you can't lift, if you're just physically not able to lift five gallons, this will definitely do the trick. It's too bad they didn't make a longer hose. This one was $15 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It's an affiliate link, so if you click on it and you purchase it, we do get a small kickback. It doesn't cost you anything, but Amazon, but Amazon does throw us a little extra. They have This one was 15, they have one, I think it was 20 or 25, and it had a handle, like a gas spout. Must be to lock it, I don't know. I think it was just a gimmick to make it look better. But that handle might be longer, I'm not sure. But for 15 bucks, I'm glad I bought this. This will be a go-to tool every time we fill up the tractor and anything else. It'd be a good Christmas present for anybody. Birthday presents. Any modern stetter would love this. I know I like it. I'm gonna store it in the cardboard box. Just that way I don't gotta worry about it getting all dirty. Perfect. Let's see if we can get the plow without getting stuck. The bolts are all frozen. We're gonna have to bring it up to the basement and get them undone. Whew, we made it up the hill, but just barely. I know I could plow more, but plowing with the bucket, you end up digging up your lawn. Right now the lawn under the snow isn't frozen. So I don't wanna, that hill's more of a nicer lawn than the bottom area that's kind of more of a field. So I don't wanna keep digging into it. So we made it up. Now we can get our plow bracket put on. We'll go back down, get the plow. Then we'll be ready for winter. Now this is just a homemade plow bracket. Once it's installed, it's like a minute mount system.
This plow is off of an old John Deere tractor. I don't know what kind of John Deere tractor it was. All I know is we made the plow better. We put it on a Kubota! <laughs> Let me show you how I made a quick connect system for this plow. I want to be able to keep my bucket on, so if I need to move snow banks for some reason, I still can. The top has a pin that slides. And the bottom has a pin that's solid. So I made notches on my base so the bottom pin can slide in. And I welded a piece of pipe in the top so the top one can go in. Undo it, it clicks in place and it holds it in place. Just having a plow on the tractor might be nice because it'd be a little bit shorter. But this way if I need to use my bucket for anything, it's a two second changeover. Just like that, pull my pins, lock them in place. I guess that's all the fun we can have today. It's starting to rain out. This will make for an interesting travel today. We gotta get ready to go to a Christmas party. Hopefully we have safe travels. Hopefully everybody has safe travels this holiday season, especially in this crazy weather. The Kubota is ready for winter now, which is good. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.